everyone, what's up and welcome back to the Moments Review. So I thought it would be fun, being the fact that yesterday was Valentine's Day, to sort of just sit down with you guys and talk about how Nathan and I met. Um, Nathan is not here to tell his side of the story and so maybe one day we'll sit down together and he can kind of do his side, but he's at work right now and I still wanted to be able to um, share this with you guys. So let's get started. So Nathan and I actually knew each other for quite a few years, I think probably six, maybe even seven years before we started dating. Um, we knew each other all throughout high school and we were really, really, really great friends. Um, we kind of were secret friends, that's what I like to call us. Not because we were um, secret on purpose, it's just we hung out out of school and a lot of our groups of friends didn't really know um, how close we actually were. Um, I wouldn't say we were really, really close, but I definitely would have said that he was my um, main guy friend in high school. He was the person that I could talk to and trust and go to um, probably the most out of out of my guy friends. I really enjoyed having just that friendship with him. And so we were, like I said, friends throughout high school. We both really liked each other in high school, but never had the conversation about it. So nothing ever came of it. We um, kind of just did our own thing and um, just enjoyed our friendship more than anything. Uh, we used to, you know, get together after school, like I said, and used to walk me to work and stuff, and we would just talk and just, um, just were really, really great friends. And I remember one time, me and my girlfriends were all sitting on the steps of the first school, and we were talking about how it's kind of weird to think about the fact that, you know, somebody that you're going to school with could potentially be the person that you end up marrying. And so then we kind of got into the topic of, like, who we thought each other would marry and, you know, who individually we thought we would end up with. And I remember saying, Nathan, and all of my friends were like, what? <laughs> like, why Nathan? Because, like I said, nobody really knew how close we were. And I just said, he's just the type of guy you marry. Like, I could just, if I were ever in a relationship with him, if we ever started dating, I just know that it wouldn't end. I would marry him for sure. So like I said, there was definitely a connection between the two of us, but it was just something that, like I said, never really went anywhere in high school. And in late grade 11, early grade 12, I got into a relationship um, with a guy and I cut off ties with a lot of people. Um, Nathan was one of them. Not that we weren't friends anymore, but we just were not close anymore. And um, the guy that I was with was just not good for me. And I remember at our graduation, the um, guy that I was seeing at the time was like, you're not allowed to be, you know, hugging other people and taking pictures with other people and all this sort of stuff. And I just remember feeling such a pull to Nathan and I was like, forget you, buddy. <laughs> I'm gonna go take a picture with Nathan. And so I did and we have pictures from grad and stuff. And he's the only like guy friend that I have pictures from grad because I just wanted a picture with him. I just didn't care what anybody thought. I just, I wanted to be near him. And again, um, after graduation, after school was done, um, I was still with this guy and I ran into Nathan again at a shopper's and like right away ran up to him, gave him a big hug and I was like, oh my goodness, how are you? Like I missed him so much and it was so, so awesome to see him and he had braces and I just thought he looked so cute and <laughs> oh, just, yeah, it was just, um, it's fun to think back um, about how in love I was with him before I knew I loved him. So the relationship that I was in ended and like literally a few days later I got a phone call from Nathan um, and I ignored it. <laughs> I didn't answer it. Um, and I don't know why. To this day I don't know why. I think I was nervous to talk to him. And then, um, I don't know, maybe half an hour later he called again. And so I answered it and we talked and I explained the situation that I was going through. I was in a you know, a bit of a hard place at the time. And right away, his first response was, well, did you want me to come over? Like, do you want to get together? Like, do you need somebody to be there with you and for you and all that sort of stuff? And that's just who he's always been for me. He's always been my rock. Like, even before we were in a relationship, our relationship was always, you know, very much him protecting me. And I loved that and loved that about him. Um, he is very gentle and very sweet, but he is very protective and I, and I love that. And so um, I said, no, no, that's okay. We don't need to get together, but I would like to get together. So I don't really know like how soon after that, but then we started to hang out and um, we got closer and within a few months we were going on like double dates with our friends and stuff, but we weren't considered an item yet. We hadn't talked about 
um, dating, you know, we weren't in a relationship, but we were not really able to date anybody else. Like we both knew that if one of us had dated somebody else at that moment, um, we would have been upset. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so that just happened for a while, for a few months, probably about six months of us just, you know, getting to know each other again and just enjoying each other's company. And he was always so good at like, if I was really upset about not talking about the issue that we talked about like that was making me upset, but um, being able to steer the conversation away and make me laugh and just just be there and just, you know, distract me. And I loved that. And he's still like that. Um, I could say like, oh, I just love everything about him because I do. <laughs> I feel like I'm like, oh, Neil, I loved this and I loved this and I loved this. But I do. He's just, he's just such a sweet, sensitive guy, but he's also very protective and very, um, I feel very safe with him. And I love that. Um, Anyway, <laughs> so um, he and I were in a, his vehicle driving around one day and he said, so I got accepted to university. And that meant that he was going to be moving um, about an hour and a half away from me. And I started to cry because I was so excited for him and I wanted to be happy for him. But I was also very frustrated because I didn't want him to leave. And at this point, we still hadn't talked about the fact that we liked each other and that we wanted something more out of the relationship that we had more than just friendship um and uh he was like i'm really sorry he's like i you know i feel bad because i really like you like it's awful timing because we were just starting to get really close and so then i was crying and i was like i really like you too and we had a moment where we were very honest with each other about our feelings and um you know he was talking about the fact that like well, let's, you know, we can try to make it work. Like, let's, you know, if you want to be in a relationship, like, if we want to, like, really commit to this, I mean, let's do it. We don't have to stop just because I'm going to be away. Like, I can come home on weekends and all this sort of stuff. And I was really skeptical for a few reasons. One, I wasn't sure how well a long-distance relationship would work. Two, we had really only been, you know, back together for six months. Although, like I said, we knew each other for probably six years before that. And we had a very solid foundation of friendship. Um, and it came back very easily. That was a bit of a fear of mine. And then lastly, I was afraid to ruin our friendship. Like I didn't want to get into a relationship with him if it was going to end and not continue because I needed him in my life. I, and I didn't want to lose the friendship that we had built. And that really, really scared me. Um, and because uh, I didn't, like I said, want to lose his friendship. And so I put him on hold for a couple of days. I said, you know what, I just need time to think about it. And so for two days, I thought about it. I thought about what I wanted to do and how my emotions made me feel and if I was able to do a long distance relationship and, and if I wanted to try to have a relationship with him, um, knowing that if it did end, I could be losing somebody so special and important to me. And I just came to the conclusion that like, why wouldn't I try? Like he's so special and so important to me. And thinking back to the time that I was like, I would definitely marry this guy. I just felt calm and secure about it. I just felt like getting into the relationship with him, I knew that he was it. He was the one. I knew from the day he told me he liked me, I knew from years before that. Like I just knew that if I was ever in a relationship with him, we would get married. And so saying yes to dating him was um, for me a big deal because I was basically saying yes to marrying him and I know that sounds crazy but for the way that I felt about him I just knew that um, I never ever wanted to let him go ever and so I wasn't going to <laughs> and so we dated um, uh, he was in Saskatoon he came home almost every weekend um, I tried to visit him as much as possible and we just were together we just enjoyed each other we just loved each other and then he asked me to marry him about a year and a little bit after we started dating. And then we were engaged for about a year after that. And then we got married. And, you know, I moved to Saskatoon with him. We finished his school. Um, and it's just been awesome. You know, we have been together now for seven years. And I we joke. We always say, oh, I'm getting a little itchy because, you know, the seven-year itch. But we just don't have that. He's just my rock. He's just seriously the most absolute perfect 
man for me. Um, I couldn't have picked a better guy. God knew what he was doing when he placed Nathan in my life because we complement each other so well. And um, yeah, I love him. There's so many things I love about him as I'm sure you can tell by this mushy gushy video. But I thought it would just be fun to sit down and explain to you guys how we met and how our relationship came to be. Uh, maybe on the anniversary of our wedding, I will do a wedding video kind of thing and talk about our wedding and all that sort of stuff, the prep and um, give a few clips and stuff like that from the actual wedding. But that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video like I did <laughs> I'm gonna look back on it and probably just enjoy um, hearing myself speak about him you know in seven years from now and just uh, talking about you know who he is and what he means to me but thanks so much I know that's kind of an intimate topic how you fell in love but I just thought it would be fun to share like I said with Valentine's Day so go ahead and subscribe guys if you haven't already and follow along I put out videos every Friday and I try to do fun videos on Wednesdays something sort of random and um, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and comment down below and let me know do you want to hear Nathan's side of the story because it probably would be a little bit different um, anyway guys like I said thanks so much for watching and we will see you in my next video Bye guys.